This is the Washington Times front page for Monday, August 2nd, 2021. Thanks for starting your week with us. I'm George Gerbo. U.S. hospitalizations for COVID-19 are averaging nearly 35,000, a 46% increase over the prior reporting week, but far below the peak of the pandemic in early January. Tom Howe reports on the latest numbers. There's currently an average of 300 deaths per day from the disease nationwide. That's a sharp increase from an average of 170 on July 10th, but far below the 2,000 daily deaths during the spring 2020 crisis and 3,000 during the winter peak. Things are worsening fast in pockets of the South and Midwest, which have multiple states with less than 40% of their residents vaccinated. Nationally, 49.6% of Americans are fully vaccinated. Doctors say vaccinated people, especially those who are older or immunocompromised, are sometimes hospitalized, but the overwhelming majority of patients are ones who are unvaccinated. In foreign affairs, what's been unfolding in Iran since mid-July looks increasingly like a repeat of what occurred in 2017, 2018, and 2019, when protests over economic hardship and high fuel prices ultimately exploded into wide-scale uprisings. With hardline president-elect Ibrahim Raisi set to formally take office in days, national security team leader Guy Taylor reports the bigger question in Iran is whether the latest jolt of domestic popular anger will be strong enough to shake the foundations of the increasingly stressed Islamic system. Demonstrations last week featured slogans of outright frustration with the regime's failure to meet the needs of common Iranians. Many are upset at Iran's foreign policy spending, which includes funding and arming militant proxies in places such as Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Gaza, and Yemen. On immigration, the Department of Homeland Security approved at least nine deferred action for childhood arrivals applications and advanced dozens of others in violation of a judge's order that paused work on much of the program. Stephen Dynan reports U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services Acting Director Tracy Renaud said the breaches resulted from human error and cases already in the system. She said the agency rushed to claw back approvals in violation of the order and halted the applications of 52 other DREAMers who were allowed to submit fingerprints and biometric information. All the breaches took place from July 17th to July 19th in the days immediately after federal judge Andrew Hannon ruled that the Obama administration created DACA illegally in 2012. A reminder that you can find all these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. Don't have access to the Times yet? Visit WashingtonTimes.com slash George and get 25% off your annual subscription. Former President Donald Trump's political brand is showing signs of weakening. Seth McLaughlin reports enough Republican senators ignored his attacks and complaints about a massive bipartisan infrastructure package to advance the deal. And in Texas, the former president's preferred candidate in a special congressional election was defeated. Analysts are studying the race to see what it means for Trump's endorsement powers. GOP strategist and former Republican House staffer Doug Hayes said the Congressional Committee investigation into the January 6 riot by Trump supporters at the U.S. Capitol will also keep the former president on the defensive for weeks. However, Monmouth University Polling Institute Director Patrick Murphy said there's little evidence, despite the setbacks, that Trump supporters are deserting him. And finally, the Navy is working to address ship collision and accident issues with its Mariner training centers in Norfolk and San Diego. Military reporter Mike Glenn reports part of the training includes putting crews in life-size simulators so they can practice maneuvering a warship through a variety of scenarios. After two different collisions in 2017 that killed 17 sailors, the Navy went through a comprehensive review of training for officers. The service eventually plans to have ship handling simulators at major bases in Hawaii, Spain, and Japan. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or the Washington Times app and subscribe for free to the front page. Just search Washington Times on your favorite podcast platforms. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.